Merlin is a, it's, it's an early morning hobby generally. You get up at, at four or five in the morning, but that is the best time in South Africa to be up and about and out there. Uh, you, you're recording species. You, you, the minute you put binoculars to your eyes from the average guy that goes out there and looks at little brown shadows, uh, you turn birding into a fantastic hobby. But if you consider that BirdLife South Africa has got a membership of over 6,000 members, we consider that there's more than 20,000 birders um, in South Africa. Now. And these guys not only have it as a hobby, but they can add value to the birding community in South Africa by becoming uh, citizen scientists. So they record, and, and programs like BirdLess have made that so easy for the average South African to go out there, record birds, give data back to the people that know, and then they can then uh, use that data for books and the improvement of the habitats, etc. We can share this data with conservation agencies, for instance, of different provincial governments, to develop conservation plans. And those plans are really important uh, for they guide where developments in the country takes place or not. For example, where mining should happen and not happen. The biggest challenge for Bird Lasser was reaching the estimated 20,000 birders in South Africa, making them aware of this great initiative and making their data count. So we looked at what excited birders. The answer was a simple one, seeing an endangered bird. We targeted birding hotspots, known as habitats, for threatened South African birds, printed lifelike silhouettes of endangered species, and strategically placed them where they'd catch a keen birder's eye to have a closer look. Alongside the silhouette cutouts, we placed small plaques. These plaques told birders that their sightings could help the environment in a big way and pushed them to playapart.co.za to find out more about the Bird Lasser initiative.